What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel, the best place to help you get started building your business and brand online. And today we are diving into some new Facebook features that, uh, that have been rolling out. Although there have been a buttload of new features, I am going to be narrowing it down and talking about nine specifically. So if you are pumped, hit that thumbs up and keep on watching. So the very first feature that have been rolled out is the addition of Facebook avatars. Now, I'm not gonna be diving into Facebook avatars because I have done that in the past two videos. Um, I uploaded one telling you if, you if you don't know how to currently create it, I've got one teaching you how to create it and then another one teaching you six different ways to use your Facebook avatar. So some different places that you can actually use it and things that you can do. So that is the first thing. The second feature that's been added, which is one that I have been waiting on for quite some time. It's one that has been available inside of Facebook groups, but not necessarily on like Facebook profile is the ability to format your posts. Now, this is something that is not available to do on mobile. You can only do it like on a laptop or a desktop, but as you can see, I'm right here on Facebook and this is what I mean by formatting posts. So let's just say, you know, being able to... Okay, so I just have some text here. So what I mean by this is you can highlight, you can, you know, copy this, you can bold it, you can italicize. If you wanted to just specifically do uh, specific words, you can do that. So format, uh, let's just say new Facebook feature right here. I can also take, if I hover over this little thing right here, I can make the text bigger. H2 makes it, puts it all in, um, all in capital letters. You can take, if you want like these, you can hover over this, put them in bullet points or like one, two, three. Um, and then obviously you can just delete this and it'll adjust that. So I love the ability to do this. You can actually put this like in quotes. So for me, the ability to do this, it just allows you to break up the monotony of just like the same you know, size font, the same look, and it allows you to kind of break it up so your posts can stand out a little bit more. Again, love this feature. So glad that they actually rolled it out to profiles and not just Facebook groups. New feature number three is a new little reaction, okay? So if I hover over the like, and you can do this desktop, laptop, mobile, doesn't matter, is this new little care reaction. So that's just something quick. Uh, it's just another reaction that you can add to post as you're kind of scrolling through versus just liking. I'm definitely one not to just like posts. I just feel like it, it doesn't stand out in any way. So usually I will always use some type of reaction when it comes to engaging on somebody else's post. The fourth new feature is Messenger Room. So this is something that I haven't personally done yet. But basically what messenger rooms are is it allows you to go in and you can be on video with multiple people at a time. You can do this inside of a particular Facebook group that you have if you're an admin of it, or you can create a room and just add friends or family and you can video chat together. Now, personally, when I video chat, I use Zoom. It's just one of the, the main ways that I interact with students or if I get on talking to a student or anything like that, I even Zoom and I'm face to face, talking face to face with some of my friends as well. But, but this is something that you can do not only from mobile, but also desktop or laptop as well. So let's just say right now, I'm just in the Marketing Mamas. It's just my free online Facebook group. So in order to create a room, if you're just inside of your group, you're gonna see this little button right here that says create room. When you click on it, um, you can pick what emoji you want. Uh, if you want to change it and then you can also say you know what what it's about so a lot of times if i were going to do it it would either be like through consultations whether i'm doing like profile reviews or with uh, particular students of mine so you can name whatever this room is you can click save once you click save this is going to pop up and it, it's gonna ask you who is invited. So you could say group members, and then right here you have the ability to test out, or not test out, but you have the ability to pick when you want this to actually start. So you can pick the date, you can pick the time, and then you can click save. You also have the ability to start it now if you wanted to do that as well. Now, the only thing when it comes to this is when I do it from mobile, it tells me that you can only have up to eight people 
in a room at one time so with that I feel like it can be a little limiting if you've got like a larger Facebook group or you're wanting to do like some type of uh, just a larger group of people so just something to keep in mind with me there's times where I'm on with way more than eight people and so this kind of wouldn't work I also know with these particular types of rooms right now you aren't able to share your screen so that's another reason why I like to use zoom is for the simple fact of I will share my screen when I'm coaching students, we're doing like Q&A sessions or I'm reviewing things. I always like to pull it up just so they've got a visual, but definitely I think this is um, you know, a great little feature that I'll be testing out just to kind of see how I like it. If you have any particular questions about this, be sure to leave it below as well. The fifth update is Facebook Live Producer, okay? So this is just a little bit more robust if you want to go live using your laptop or desktop. Now, I'm not gonna do a full-blown tutorial on this. If that's something that you wanna see, just tell me down below and I'll be happy to do something, but I'll just show you where it's at. So if you are just on your laptop or desktop, you're gonna click these little buttons and you're going to click Live Video. And Facebook Live Producer is actually going to pull up and you just kind of go through the steps it'll allow you to schedule a live you can go live now over here on the left hand side it'll tell you like where you want to actually go live at you can give it a title all of that jazz and then you just kind of walk through the steps of this now again you can add you know this is like the stream health you can add polls questions there's a whole lot you can do it's definitely way more robust than it used to be so I'm definitely loving that for people who do want to go live and not just do it on their phone so again if you want a more full-blown tutorial on what this looks like and what to do to set it up let me know down in the comments but with that being said the sixth update is the ability to do Facebook it's like audio only live streaming now used to back I want to say a couple of years ago you were able to do this basically go live but without showing your face on camera it would just be your voice kind of like a podcast and then all of a sudden they kind of took that feature away and I haven't seen it available for a while and word on the street is that you can now do this again so that is another cool feature especially if you I think there's something about listening to somebody's voice um, even if you can't see them on video that allows you to build a deeper connection and I think just bring more brand awareness and things like that more trust there's lots of reasons why I love podcasting and why I love video and why I think that it's so strong when it comes to building your business and building your brand uh, if you're doing it from home before I get into the final three tips if you're getting some value again be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it out I also want to add if you are using Facebook or social media in general to build your business, build your brand, make some money, and you feel like you don't really have clarity and you don't really have people reaching out, you're a little confused about where to start, be sure to check out and grab my brand identity workbook, okay? It's a 23 page workbook that's really gonna help you create a clear message to attract your ideal customer. So we talk about brand, narrowing down, making sure that you've got a clear message so that you have total clarity to move forward and build with confidence. It's definitely the first thing that I recommend anybody do when they're building a side hustle or any type of uh, business online. I'll leave the link below for you to grab it. The seventh new update and feature is the ability to take any picture and make it a 3D photo. So if you are on Facebook, I'm just gonna click like I'm gonna add a picture and let's just say I want to go to this one. This is just one of the pictures that I took for my YouTube thumbnail for last week. And you can see right here where you can turn this photo into 3D. Now, previously, the only way that you could create a 3D uh, photo is if you took a picture from your cell phone in portrait mode, okay? So this is what 3D photo looks like where you can kind of move it around. Although I will say moving it that way kind of makes my face look a little weird. <laughs> but um, again, quick little super cool feature. The last two tips have to do with stories, okay? Facebook stories. So let's just say I go into Facebook stories and I am going to take this picture, okay? So the first new feature added to Facebook stories is the ability to animate. And let's say I don't want that one. Let me scroll down and I am going to pick, let's just say this is a comment that someone left on one of my YouTube channels, okay? So just to make this story stand out to where it's not just a static image, 
what I can do, let me move this down, what I can do, and it's a little hard to see right now because it's white on white, but there is a button that says animate, okay? So when I click that, it's going to give me the option. It's gonna pull these up down here, and you see that you've got a couple of different options down here. So if I push this little, the, the first little button, you see how it's kind of zooming in, zooming out. Uh, the second button, it's kind of moving it, which depending on what the picture is, you may not want it going that fast. Um, I can zoom in this way or I can zoom out. So again, I think that's a pretty cool little feature as far as being able to uh, being able to animate your Facebook stories. Once you're done and you've got your animation, then you would just click done right here at the top. You would add anything else that you wanted to add, whether it be stickers, whether it be text. And as you can see, I've animated mine. I've added just a little text, and then I also took and added my little avatar as well. You can also add right here feelings. This is something new as well, like how you're feeling. And again, this is the ninth update, and I can just move this down here at the bottom, and you can change it just by tapping on it. You can, you know, just change kind of like the, the look. So I'll just make it look like that my little avatar is talking, and then just share it to story. So even though I didn't go over all of the new updates, I did give you nine pretty cool ones and I would love to know which one you are really into, which ones that you like the best, which ones that you're like, meh, you know, that you don't really use. So let me know below. While you wait on the next video, be sure to check out these other two videos that are popping up on the screen. With that being said, I hope you got some value. Hope you have the most productive day, the most productive week, and I'll see you back here in the next one. Bye for now.